Welcome to RK Tutorials, Solutions to Engineering Mechanics by S. Timoshenko, 5th edition. In this tutorial, we will discuss problem set 2.6 and problem number 2.82. A rigid bar AB is supported in a vertical plane and carries a load Q at, at its free end as shown in the figure. Neglecting the weight of the bar itself, Compute the magnitude of the tensile force S yes, induced in the horizontal string CD. That means a rigid bar AB is positioned like this. At A, there is a hinged support and it is supported by a string CD as shown in this. A Q is attached at the point B. Our interest is to find the force developed inside the string CD. For that, let us consider the free body diagram of the prismatic bar AB. At B, the at B, weight Q is acting. At C, there is a string force and the string force is along the string and initially we will assume that it is the tensile force, hence it is away from the point of observation that is C. And at A, since it is a hinged support, Hinged support will introduce two reactions. One is the horizontal reaction and the vertical reaction. Let us assume initially the directions of both the reactions are like this. So it is our rigid bar AB. The length is L by 2 and L by 2 and which makes an angle alpha with the vertical as given in the problem. Now the various forces acting on the rigid bar AB, the weight Q attached at the point B and there is a string force as we discussed along the CD and it is away from the point C and two reactions RAH and RAV at the point A as A is the hinged support. Now our interest is to only to find the tensile force yes so I can directly take the moments about from the point A. So if you take the moments about point A, RAH and RAV will not introduce any moment because both the forces are passing through the point A. Now S will introduce a moment and Q will introduce a moment. So Q will introduce the clockwise moment and S will introduce the counterclockwise moment. To find that moment, I required the distances from the line of action of those forces. This is the line of action of this S force and this is the line of action for the Q force. Now I required this distance and I required this distance too. By considering this right angle triangle, I can say this angle is alpha, hence this angle is alpha, this distance by considering this right angle triangle, this is L into sin alpha because it is the opposite side. Now by considering this right angle triangle, I want this height. This height may be, you can calculate as L by 2 cos alpha. Hence I can take the moments about point A and you can say if you take moments about point A from the equilibrium equation sigma ma is equal to 0. So yes multiplied by the perpendicular distance L by 2 cos alpha and Q multiplied by the perpendicular distance L sin alpha. So Q into L sin alpha which, which gives the moment in one direction is equals to S into L by 2 cos alpha creates the moment in the opposite direction. Upon simplifying this equation, I will get S is equal to 2Q into L sin alpha by L cos alpha and Finally, you will get S is equal to 2Q into 10 alpha is the answer for the given problem.